Hey everyone, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to tap. My name's Neil and it's time to talk more Taskmaster. We kicked off series 14 last week, guys, and it looks like it's got a ton of potential for another excellent series. I'm I'm really enjoying the cast so far. Obviously, I had a pretty good idea of what I was getting into with Dara O'Brien and Sarah Milliken. They're pretty well-known figures, but the other three, the ones in the middle, Fern, John Kearns, and Munya, I was really unfamiliar with, but but I'm digging the energy on set. There's there's some playful banter. No one's gone uh, quite as hard. Like I'm thinking back to last series, series 13, when Ardle would um, like purposely question Greg's scoring and point out flaws in other people's uh, prize tasks and that sort of thing. No one's quite gone that extreme, but on the flip side, no one's gone as extreme as Judy Love from last series, who just kind of disregarded the rules, didn't... Um, she, she was such a force of chaos on set, which was pro and con. But, but this this series feels a little more mainstream, it seems like everybody wants to do a good job, uh, and and I'm digging the energy. I I like the pairings, the the, the, the groupings that they put together for the team tasks. I think um, Manya and Sarah have at least off the bat they seem to be in better shape. Uh, it, it feels like Dara, Fern, and John um, haven't figured out the best dynamic. To work together yet but it's also clear in these early days like they don't know each other um, just because you work in the same industry doesn't mean you necessarily cross paths like before and, and I think it was quite clear that Dara doesn't know Fern or John prior to the task we saw last week give them a little more time working together we may see that evolve it's very different energy than in the past every so often there's been a team where they're they're old friends. Like I think back to Alan Davis and Victoria Corin Mitchell. Like they're, I, I feel like they they almost hang out. Um, they certainly cross. They, they have a lot of friends in common and that sort of thing. So um, they're they're quite familiar with each other and and they're already friendly. But um, you know we're starting from scratch here. We're starting. We're seeing them work with strangers, which is kind of fun. Anyway, no more commentary at the start, but we'll, we'll break down all the tasks and have some fun at the end. Uh, let's jump into episode two of series 14. Enormous hugeness. And that's a duck and a grape. And I am the Taskmaster, and I mean the real one, not the comic book villain that pops up when you Google me. <laughs> and I can take down an 18-inch pizza in one by unhooking my jaw like a mighty human snake. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Dara Breen! Fern Brady! John Kearns! Munya Chihuahua! And Sarah Millican! I've been watching the uh, Alex interviews with the contestants. They've been fun, but we haven't seen Sarah right. yet, I don't think. My best friend. It's Trunky, the naughty elephant. <laughs> a wretched hairy weasel. You can let it talk! Oh. Well, yesterday, I, um, I got a piggyback. Yep. Because I'd, le I'd lent um, my piggy to my uncle, and then, <laughs> and then he gave, gave it back to me. <laughs> Prize task, then. What's the category? I'll tell you, Alex. It's the best thing you nearly keep throwing away but can't quite bring yourself oh. to. What's going on? And that is how replaceable you are. <laughs> My first ever houseplant. Ooh, that you... bodes badly. <laughs> you know, if you can keep a plant, you can keep a puppy. If you keep a puppy, you can keep a child. You know, it's like the Royal Marines advert. So... <laughs> I, said, I named him young Pablo. He died after a week. What I have managed to do is keep young Pablo alive for five years, but on the brink of death. It's not a bad prize on a quiz. <laughs> it's a shit prize. I can give you a thing that should be alive but is now dead uh, and is a section of my leg. 
<laughs> what? Part of my leg broke off uh, during a football match and had to be removed and then they give it to you. And then, because I'm nailed, uh, I <laughs> pushed it back in again and carried on playing. It's like my balls go up inside my So is this like part of his kneecap or something? Oh, oh. Strong, Tara. Oh, yeah. By the way, I've kept my uh, tonsils. People do. Yeah? Yeah, they're still in, in my... <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting tanker, and he uses it to keep toothbrushes inside. So if you do badly, I'll, I'm doing you a favour. Someone else gets to win it and keep it now. Yes, let's yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought in uh, Ulysses by James uh, Joyce. Joyce. I've had that for about 20 years. Never read it. Or opened it, by do the looks of it. Tonally, you've got this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, yep. but I have ambition uh, to read it, so uh, I'll never throw it out. <laughs> I think I'm surprised, because I'm expecting this to be a twist. No. <laughs> well, there might be. I haven't read it. I don't know. <laughs> Sarah? Hi. Can you definitely beat John's book? I don't yes. know. That's up to you to decide. Oh, I um, already have. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's zombie. Here it is. Oh. Oh. Frightens the shit out of me twice a week, maybe. <laughs> Let that be his special room. Right? It is in his special room. Oh. Um, it's called the zombie room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard to throw away. You know you're doing zombie. well when you've got a zombie room. Do you want me to go from John upwards or the other way? <laughs> <laughs> second book in a row, second one point in a row. Hello, yeah, John. Yeah. <laughs> Is he just... He's done the, doing nothing about books. And if anyone brings part of their body that just fell off them in, I mean, for sympathy more than anything, they get five points. Five points to Dora Breen! There it is! <laughs> A little bit of patella. Always worth five it's points. Only the king of all stationary items. <sighs> Should we say it together? Laminator! A laminator! Oh, well, back in the South Terminal at Gatwick. Closed during COVID, apparently. Thank you for filling me in on that. <laughs> I like that John just chucks his blazer to the side at the start Print of every task. Laminate and distribute the most signs. Each of your signs must be placed on a different seat. How long does it take to laminate a sign? Or what size does the sign have to be? Is there a standard size for laminated signs? I used to work <laughs> in my dad's office. Task or... mistress. I, I do enjoy her outfit. Because she's got it on her collar and her belt. The doubling up makes me giddy. My family motto is print, laminate, distribute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anything's an instruction, isn't it? It's just blanked out the document. Now the document's going to a tiny font. <laughs> it's quite nice to look at fonts now and then. Yeah. What font have you gone for? I'm looking for a printer. D Dara's acting a bit like an old man. A bit of a Luddite. That's the size of the sign I just made. It's not laminated. Oh, right, wingdings. <laughs> I feel so productive. Ah, she's being yeah, clever, yes. making multiple signs with each lamination. Bums only. I can't remember what the other two meant. I don't remember typing leave your husband, so I've written some of these in a fugue state. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dara. <sighs> Dara? Dara actually seems quite productive. That's for you as well. Oh, no. What's the I'm second part? Obey What's the second? Signs. Highest percentage of signs obeyed wins. Good luck. Why oh. can't? Watch out for burglars. <gasps> burglars. I value your kidnappers. <laughs> Munchak deer. Munchak oh, deer. Oh, the Gruffalo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've walked straight into this now, haven't I? Because I, I don't remember what that says. <laughs> Bums over. Here comes the police, run away. Leave your husband. <laughs> well, I'm not married. Well, yeah. I can't do this instruction. What does it say? Who in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> well, this. It'll bifurcate into two separate You've got five seconds, John. Yep. <laughs> Done. <laughs> To you, uh, you're not in this for the win. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think Wingdings <laughs> changes every time you use it. That's the Enigma machine. <laughs> 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 Didn't say the signs had to be instructions. No, it's exactly what it said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know about bifurcation? I did know about bifurcation. Did you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You went to Cambridge. I went to a college. So... <laughs> <laughs> Dara looked like he did a lot, but it's percentage, isn't it? It's percentage. Dara did all 100% of his. Fern managed to do 75% of her instructions. John, sort of half. <laughs> I couldn't read half of them, man. <laughs> <laughs> The, break. <laughs> oh. the box heads are back. Are they going to get scored on the number of signs they did? Like how many they printed? And then what percentage? This technology is just like breathing to me. Print. Ooh. Go on then. You don't need to press anything. No, you oh, got to put it in plastic. This is like to know more about technology. Are they... Not going to be able to figure out the laminator? Huh? No. <laughs> I'm going to get my... Is it the best day of my life? <laughs> These are the two that didn't cut their signs. Oh, Manya. Or be all of your signs. <laughs> be healthy, my bro. One, two. Sod off. This is go away. This is bugger off. Do we that? Not out of there. <laughs> okay. Technology is like breathing to me. <laughs> that the confidence there was misplaced. No, He's got to add some To you guys, a laminate is like a PS5, but for me. What's a PS5? <laughs> PlayStation. Oh, for children. Yep. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> obeyed 91% of them because she did not take her pants off. She did not take her no, pants off. No, didn't have off. me on, so, you know. <laughs> There's two sets of scores, one for the amount of signs and okay, one for the Okay, okay, that's what I was hoping. In the first half, John gets one point for his measly seven signs. Five for Dara, and then in terms of percentage obeyed... Dara John cleans up. Munya and Dara both get five points because they both obeyed 100% of their signs. John is at the bottom of the scoreboard with just three points. The leader has five times as many as him. That's Dara with 15 points. Whoa! Yeah, that's an insurmountable hurdle already. Oh, it's a meringue. <gasps> Put your hand right in there, please. OK. Yeah. Perfect. Put five grapes in the little bowl. You must wear the flippers as gloves for the entire five minutes. The most flour still on the plate after five minutes wins. Oh, that's all flour. That's not a meringue. That's a. That's just a, a bowl full of flour. An upside down bowl full of flour. Turn around. Nothing under the table. Ah There's a little grape holder underneath. Oh, there's no oh. grapes in there. Crap. No grapes in the grape holder. I can't tell if this is the worst idea you've ever seen, or if I'm actually a genius. Like that. One grape. Two. So now all I need to do is get all the flour back on the plate. I'm going to pour the table over it. Great. Oh, no. I don't ah, feel... Yes! All right, all right. It's it's more. I feel like Monday did pretty solid there. You can leave the garage now. All right. Ow. Oh, look at all these grapes. Oh. Oh, no! Are they hidden in the ceiling? Oh, they're going to find them. They're behind or something. Oh, come on. Find them. Find them! You just gotta go like that, don't you? Oh, they didn't find them. Pan for grapes. They're not like. We could. But, see, everyone's getting good at checking under the table. I appreciate that a lot. Oh no. Oh no. Why? 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 Why use your? Why? Why? Why do? Why do that, John? Huge regrets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Huge regrets, indeed. A lot of surgeons are alcoholics, so it probably feels like they have big hands. They're doing it on an old person because they're very dry and desiccated, so their bodies are just like flour. What? John, why? You're going to suffocate. <laughs> or just choke yourself to death. <laughs> Dear God, John. <coughs> what? Why? Why? 
Did you think that was one of the instructions? <laughs> Did they get all five? Let me out. <laughs> John, I hate to repeat the questions I ask you, but um, I, are you not wanting to win any of it? <laughs> I just... <laughs> Yeah, what that picture doesn't show is that I've got flippers for fucking hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is Dara going to find them? If there's some sense no. of where they were, that would be a help. <laughs> would somebody lie about the grapes? Oh, that would be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> He's going to find them. He's going to find them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can I go to the kitchen, please? Okay. Ah, that's also me! Oh, they're right there! Oh. Oh. Literally at eye level! Scrapes, 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 Ten seconds. Well done, Dara. Hoorah. I went on such a journey, journey. <laughs> I was trying to work it out. And then, from the arrogant flick of the egg cup onto the floor onwards, he became a supervillain. I don't know how he didn't notice the grapes which were this far <laughs> from his eyes. <laughs> he was too busy laughing into the night sky. <laughs> she didn't fulfil the tasks, you can't have any points. OK, so zero to four. Oh. Sarah came fourth, so gets two points. Dara, 2,000. 903 grams. So Dara oh. gets a five point. Man. Dara's like One more. might be best single episode ever territory already. He's at a hundred percent of available points at the moment. What do we have here? Okay. Hello, treadmill hey, on yeah. a pedestal. Got your bucket? Two treadmills yeah. on pedestals. You look nice. Oh thanks. Yeah. Woo! Sorry, the ducks and socks. Ducks go in the front bucket, obviously. Socks go in the back bucket. All ducks and socks must travel along both treadmills, then fall directly into the correct bucket. If a duck or sock lands on the floor, you may not retrieve it. <laughs> ducks and socks. Duck socks. Okay. It's a uh, bog standard game of double bucket, duck and sock. Yes, it is. <laughs> Double bucket, duck and sock. Where are the ducks and socks? Oh, come on, they're in the tub bathtub. Right. What? And? The bathtub! Come on! You... Shit! <laughs> Why give yourself an extra 90 degrees to go around? Just be on the side. What the fuck's in that? There's a duck in the sock! Oh, it's ducks in socks! I feel like you could position yourself so that your butt was at the catchment area and Are drop the socks the on bath? the top one without oh, even moving. No! Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but there's ducks on that sock! Oh no, and the socks have to come on, John. John's I'm sucking. Those are duck thing. socks. Can I slow it down? Here we go! There we go. You absolute wanker! <laughs> okay, he got some there. I think Fern did quite well. You can't even buy them that small. You, mean you can't buy them that small. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my son um, a month ago. But did you try and get a really small one? <laughs> <laughs> There is only one size of duck. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were. <laughs> I'd have looked mad if I got up to the pharmacist and got so do you have <laughs> Why are you buying ducks in a pharmacy? Well, where else do you buy them? <laughs> so she had a total of 57 things in her bucket. Wow. John, nine socks, one duck, no pears. <laughs> <laughs> John might be on pace for the worst 
episode ever. God dang, Monya! I can't see me pockets because of my tits. Sorry. You can't see your can't pockets. See me pockets. Because, yeah. Yeah. If they fall on the floor, then you're not allowed to pick them up. Correct. Oh, well. Oh! Munya's a genius. One. Well, the joke's on you because I get to go again. Nice duck footage. Geese, probably, but still. Top bomb, top bomb. This is how I used to make footballs in Zimbabwe. Oh! M Munya's a freaking. I'm so impressed with his geniusness right now. Five. Four. Three. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, Munya. Uh, I can't see my pockets because of my tits. <laughs> it happens more often than you'd think. Well, I've got a similar problem. <laughs> I should have been good at that task because when I was a kid, I used to practice balancing in the, in the bath by covering it in Vaseline. So, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So what, you never played games <laughs> in the bath? Yeah, I played games. It's not a game. <laughs> See, to make it look like a submarine. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's been a great night, and I really think that's down to you, Sarah, Manya, Dara, and Fern being on top form. <laughs> oh, no, John. No, John. Now, also the key is to pair up the socks before you send them down. Oh, this is not the fun bit. Ooh, oh, here we go, here we go. I feel like Dar is just being highly effective. Can I get a bag, please? If this goes wrong, this is calamitous. Oh, they can... Are oh, they all paired? They're all paired. This is a big moment. This may be the most dominant episode ever of Taskmaster. We're, we're watching greatness here, folks. Frickin' genius greatness. The kneeling on the ground, taking ducks from socks. It's a non-fun thing. Watching <laughs> the ducks go on two treadmills, I could've done that all day. <laughs> John, in last place, one point. Money got 37 socks compared to Dara's 28, but the ducks fell out. So he only ended up with 29 ducks compared to Dara's 63 ducks. What's more, he paired a total of 28 socks, 14 pairs. So he gets two bonus points as well. So that's seven points in total to Dara Green. Yeah. Yeah. Dar yeah. Dara's running a perfect game right now. A perfect episode. This is crazy. This episode's going to go down in history, folks. 14x02. Make the taskmaster say your words. Each team will ask one question at a time, and each question must be made up of exactly six words. Also, each team member must take it in turns to say two words of each question. Oh, jeez. You cannot talk tactics with your teammate at all, but it is a oh. team task. What wriggles? N. Oh, Greg's. <laughs> Backyard. Muddy garden. Oh. Wow. <gasps> John pulled it out there. John pulled it out. What breakfast meat is, is long. and meaty. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Well done, Sarah. Sausage. <laughs> it really comes down to that last person to pull it out because can you? What? No, no, no. Manya. Lesson erection. <laughs> Until it's soft. Oh, oh soft. you know what? Team close, team. close. How would you describe enormous hugeness? <laughs> Massive. <gasps> Dara's on frickin' fire. <laughs> I wish. What? <laughs> That's not a question! Not to. Make it relevant to the word somehow. <laughs> Flying machine. Ascend vertically. Descend? 
It's no. weirdly not right, so it's... <laughs> what trousers... ..do farmers... ..wear now? <laughs> it's either dungarees or overall. But what do they wear now? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's thrown me. <laughs> overall. No! Right. Which aircraft... Crashes more. <laughs> Into mountains. So it must be. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was a great task. I like I like that team final task. Oh. Easy one to score. The team of three got three points. The team of two got two points. Are you happy with that? Yes, please. It's a clean sweep. A huge thirty points in one episode, and that's of course Mr. Daro Green. Very nice. Yeah. Dominant. Frickin' dominant. And John would have done even worse if he weren't teamed up with Dara in the final team task. Ducks come in one size and one size only. And if you've got an issue with that fact, you better speak to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget who won tonight. It was Dara O'Brien! Dara gets his knee back and a zombie. I'm going to assume Dara's read Ulysses, maybe even more than once. We, we have to acknowledge what we've just witnessed here, which is proper Taskmaster greatness. In the typical episode of Taskmaster, the maximum points you can even score is 25. And that's if you win all five challenges. All five tasks. Dara, of course, scored a, an extra five because the first task was a two-parter. How many, how many signs can you laminate and highest percentage to obey? He got two bonus points for pairing the most socks in the, the third recorded task with the, with the treadmills. And if Greg had chosen to score the final team task differently and give five points to the winners, he could have even had 32. Instead, he, they just got three versus the other team's two. And so he gets 30 out of a max of, I don't know if you want to call it a max of 30 or a max of 32, frankly, but either way, it's a freaking dominant performance and it really ought to be applauded and entered into the Taskmaster wiki as a record. I'm sure it's got to be... It, it must be. I, don't, I can't think of anyone ever else, like, clean sweeping an episode. And John, on the other hand, came last on the prize task, came last on the first recorded task came second to last with the grapes because he actually did get five instead of ferns four did he come second? i can't remember what what how he did in the uh in the socks and ducks i think he came last in that as well so at that point no he must have done better than that because he ended up with 10 and he ended up and he got three points because he was in dara's team for the the final team task Oh, and he would have gotten, he would have gotten, sorry, he would have gotten two points for the lamination, one, yeah, two points for the lamination, one for the prize task, two for the, the grapes in the flower, so that's five. So yeah, he would have come second to last for the socks and ducks as well. So maybe somebody's done worse than that, than ten. I'm sure there's been some other single digit scores, but anyone like a single digit score is incredibly hard to do, um, especially if you don't disqualify yourself from from any event and from any task. That's uh, just 
kind of mind blowing. I I don't have high hopes for John this season. I I but but what I appreciate about John is he's just bad. He's trying. He's funny in his attempts. It's weird because David Bedil tried and he was terrible and it drove me nuts. I am totally fine with John Kearns being terrible. I, I don't know what the difference is. I can't explain it. I'm just, I enjoy him sucking much more than I enjoy David Bedil sucking. I, th I, I think maybe it comes down to the fact that John's attempts, he, he doesn't choose crazy tactics. He chooses what makes the, the, their, their straightforward, logical attempts. Like, he, he's not going off the wall. I mean, other than, like, going bobbing for grapes in a bowl full of flour. But, but yeah, you, you, you don't see his attempt and question what on earth is he thinking. He's just not good at what he's attempting. Um, there's just some level of general ineptitude there, or, or terrible luck, or both. But um, I can get behind that because I can sympathize with having a, having no skill. I'm not talented myself, and I, I'm sure if I were tasked with doing many of these challenges, I would do equally terribly. So I sympathize with John. I'm in awe of Dara. Dara just, like, crushed that. That was... <clears throat> So it makes me wonder whether Dara's going to run away with this whole season, whether he's going to fall back down to earth, whether this was just sort of one of those days where everything goes right. But uh, man, I know you guys say, and I, I get this, that the producers can't determine the winner of an episode, but they did choose to include three tasks that Dara crushed. In a single episode and then it's up to the prize task and the final task and anything can happen but they they picked an episode where Dara had 20 points going into the live studio show by picking those three tasks together so that makes me think maybe Dara's just damn good at Taskmaster um, he certainly redeemed himself from a mediocre showing in the first episode but wow yeah I will remember that one 1402 highest individual score I'm pretty sure ever and I don't even think it's particularly close because of that double score in the first task I know I'm like ner being a total nerd here um, let's talk about the tasks themselves very interesting prize task something that you often come close to throwing out but still haven't in two cases Interestingly enough, for both of the women, it was something of their husbands or partners that they wanted to get rid of, but hadn't yet brought themselves to do so. The the zombie and the, the toothbrush mug. Um, for the gentleman, a basically dead plant, a surgical remnant, and a book. I, I wonder if, if John's just going to bring in a book for every prize task, because it's two for two so far. And the pattern is beginning to emerge. I, I kind of like the the contestants that have had sort of those those theme prize tasks. You know, I'm thinking of like Victoria Corin Mitchell. I, think, I feel like the, the the same prize got played at least three times during her her series. What's his name? The Welsh bloke whose name I'm completely blanking on. Who kept bringing in the the the, the semi naked pictures of, of Greg? Why am I blanking on his name? You guys are all screaming at me right now, and I've just got like a dead spot in my brain. Anyway, yeah, interesting prize task. I'm surprised, frankly, that after 14 series, they're still coming up with new ideas for the prize task, and they aren't going back and recycling some. I love it. I love a task that's a call back to previous classic tasks. Anything that involves a laminator now on this show has has history. Coarser laminator is a classic segment and you know, it just gets you in the right mood, you know. It's the it's the it's the king of stationary products. I'd like to think I would have had the foresight to cut my sign, like print multiple signs on a single sheet of paper so that you can cut and create more signs per minute. 
And I think I might have actually done well at this because I wouldn't have the imagination to get really out there with the directions. I, I, I feel like I would be doing more stuff like sit in the seat next to this seat and, you know, sit across the aisle and, uh, I don't know, just, you know, Simon Says kind of instructions. And, and so, you know, some of it comes down to embarrassment. You know, the, the, the reason Sarah didn't get 100% is because she wasn't going to take her pants off. Um, one of the ones Fern wasn't going to do was poop her pants because she didn't want a bifurcated poop. I get it, you know. And, and so you just hope you don't get too out there when you're doing your instructions. And I probably would have done okay with that one. Grapes and flour. Sorry, noise in the hall. I think... At some point you have to question why you're doing a task in a certain space especially if it's not the lab why in the garage and if you're in an unusual space someone's just pushing a huge box down the hall and if you're in an unusual space what is about the space you like i feel like you need to investigate the space even more like i really appreciate in that task how many of the contestants looked under the table like, I think at least three, maybe four of them did that. They were, uh, they were thinking ahead. And Dara was thinking outside of the box immediately. Like, there was nothing in the clue that said grapes are in the flower. That's just the assumption. But, but I like the lateral thinking that all of, uh, all of the contestants are using. Was it Munya who said, oh yeah, there's a grape container under the flower. So it's just lift the plate off. Nope, there's nothing actually in the container. But it does make the, the, the plate tippier. Dara has the, the thought, brilliant thought, I'm going to go to the kitchen and get grapes. Excellent. You've only got five minutes, but he made it happen. Um, but he thought the challenge was just opening the garage with flippers on your hands. And I love how close his eyes get to that row of grapes in the garage door because he's literally, they're probably within his depth of field. Like, he, too close for him to focus on. They're that close. But... The man made it work, so kudos to him. I'm I'm in awe of Dara's solve for the treadmills, the ducks and socks, because why not put them in a bag? Why not keep them lumped together? It makes it easier to catch. It makes it certainly makes it quicker. Um, why not pair up the socks beforehand? Just super clever. I feel like some of the the contestants were hindering themselves because they were going all the way around to the front of the first treadmill. It only said it had to go on both. It didn't say it had to do the full distance of each, I don't think. So why give yourself the extra space that you have to run? You know, you, you could almost park your, your, your butt catcher for socks at the base of the second one and just plunk them on the first without even moving if you uh, position yourself right. But yeah, Dara's solve was genius. I like John's late solve of slowing it down, at least giving him more time to get to the catchment area. And I feel for Munya because he was crushing it until he bailed into the bathtub. But the solve, but but again, he he had a he had a brilliant solve too of dragging the bathtub over and getting it underneath the catchment area. So so he could do he could retry over and over and over again until they end up in the bucket. But but yeah, really, really clever. That last task, the, the, the team task in the theater, was a lot of fun. But you realize how much of it depends on the final person. The final person has so much say in saving it. Because it felt like in almost every example, the second person would go off in a completely different direction than the first person intended. And it was up to the third person, who was sometimes the first person, to, to rein it back in to quite a great deal of success. I feel like they, they really pulled those off. I, I, I'm impressed with the general competence of this entire group because I've, all of them have shown flashes of really good lateral thinking so far, except perhaps John. But no, I mean, like, even John is coming up with good ideas, slowing down the treadmill, for, for instance. But yeah, I, I, I think we're going to see a lot of really proficient Taskmaster this season. And 
I like that because it doesn't seem to be at the detriment of the humor. It's just as funny as always. Obviously, Alex and Greg bring some of the comedy, but the, the contestants themselves are genuinely hilarious this season. I'm really digging it. It's just they're also taking the competition seriously. They're not, they're not sacrificing performance for laughs. They're just finding laughs in their performance. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I dream the show could be. It would be a dream come true if I could ever end up on an episode of Taskmaster um, as a as a competitor, and this would be how I envision my performance to go. Whether I could actually pull off any moments of insight and greatness like we're witnessing so far, who knows? But but one can dream, one can aspire to greatness, and. Uh, I, it, it it bears repeating once again, Dara O'Brien was legendarily great in this episode. And on that note, everybody, until next time, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.